Hey, what's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy Trending Ken back again with some news you can use, man. And today we're gonna do things a little bit different, man. Now everybody know what's been going on with the old Block Rico case, man. But I've been looking into this, man, and I've been listening to what the feds had to say and the wording that they are using in this indictment is a little bit different than your average RICO case. Now, for those of us who don't know what a RICO charge is, I'm going to go ahead and lay that out for you. Racketeering is a type of organized crime in which the perpetrator set up a coercive, fraudulent, extortionary, or otherwise illegal coordinated scheme or operation known as a racket to repeatedly, consistently collect money or other profit. According to the current common and most general definition, Racketeering is an organized criminal act or activity in which the criminal act or activity is some form of substantial business or a way to earn illegal money either regularly or briefly but repeatedly. A racket is therefore generally a repeated or continuous organized criminal operation or enterprise. So now that we know what a racketeering charge is, we got to see how this applied to the average everyday rapper. You know the rapper who made it, who still got friends in the hood, who he associated with? Yeah, how it applies to him. Back in the day, a racketeering charge used to be for a criminal organization, you know, who made illegal money to further the gang's image in the public, to make the gang bigger. Everything they did was for the gang, and that was what a racketeering charge used to be. But now, it seems... They switched the wording of that, and they making it a whole different thing. And I'm going to go out on a limb and call this thing the Rap Rico. We seen it in New York, and now we starting to see it in Chicago, where they get a rapper who's made it out of the ghetto, and he still got friends that's still in the ghetto doing different things, and they lump them all together and give them a Rico charge. Yeah, I said it. It's called the Rap Rico. Now, this little dirt thing is kind of, kind of interesting because they haven't charged him with anything. But I'm looking at it closely. I'm trying to, you know, tie all ends together and see what they can get them at. But the most interesting thing of it all is the wording that they're using to further the criminal enterprise. You know, they, they say that they did the murder to of FBG Duck to further their stance in the gang. So when they're using wording like that, it doesn't take much for you to get included in this indictment. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little clip to let you hear the wording that they're using, and then I'm going to tell you how it makes sense. The 11-page indictment says the suspects used social media and music videos to promote and expand their enterprise. It also may have aided in the investigation. Brazen act of violence that took place on an August day in the Gold Coast against a Chicago rapper. And then it was promoted and bragged about on social media. And the feds say it was because of that that helped them make this case. Now, let's talk about furthering your stance in the organization. In layman terms, that means you could be working at McDowell's mopping the floor this week, and then you do such a good job that next week they move you up to the fries. And then you continue doing the job good, and then the next year, all of a sudden, you assistant manager, manager, and you're running the whole store. You know what I'm saying? That's increasing your stance within the organization. On the streets, you might have started as a crash dummy, and you proved yourself, and then all of a sudden, you're holding the packs, and you put in all this work, and you solid, you went to jail, you didn't tell, and all of a sudden, with all that combined, you a shot caller now. That's improving your ranks within the organization. And it's very important that we listen to their words because I'm going to double back and tell you how this all tied together. Now let's speak on expanding the criminal enterprise. That could simply mean you out on the block hustling, you know, dollar for dollar, whatever you do out there. But you feel like if you get together with your homeboy and put your money together, y'all can get a bigger pack. Or if you and a few of the homies put y'all money in, y'all can get a bigger pack for wholesale and everybody make more money. It's expanding the criminal enterprise. And you got to understand what they're saying because how they're using it in the rap Rico is very different than how they're using it for regular crime on the streets. It's used very differently. Now where it started getting difficult for the rapper, back in the day we had curriculum in school called reading and comprehension. A lot of us can read, but a lot of us can't comprehend. A rapper like Lil Durk, for him to expand his criminal enterprise, all he have to do is sign one of his homies, start making money off of him, now his homie make money, and he, what he essentially did was further his criminal enterprise because the United States government that labeled them a criminal organization, and what he just did was expand the organization. I'm willing to bet a thousand dollars right now that that's legitimate, and we can go get Bruce Rivers, the criminal lawyer, and ask him 
if that's legit, you know what I'm saying? Now, under the new wording that they using, for one of the old block guys to make his stance a little bit bigger within the game, all he gotta do, and you gotta go back to what they said, you know, the social media thing, say if somebody was talking crap to Lil Dirk online, and then one of the little homies say, you know what, Dirk, don't even worry about it, I got that, and then he go out there and do something to the dude that was talking crap, he just furthered his stance within the organization. He just kind of leveled up. So now Dirk looking at him like, you know, hey, this is one of my little hitters. And guess who else looking at him like that? The U.S. government. Now let's speak on who's not the head of the organization. To Carlos Offred, better known as Los, he's not the head of the organization. I had to use his government name because that's how we give it up. He went to the car dealership, used his government name to get the car that he did the hit in, and after he did the hit, he took the car back. And guess what? He applied for a PPP loan in his government name and acquired the car. So he's, it doesn't sound like, you know, he's dotting his I's and crossing his T's. That's like hustling backwards. That's on some crash dummy stuff. The boss top guy, he's not the head of the organization. They got him on YouTube doing an interview, standing right next to the getaway vehicle, pointing elbows at others. He's not the head of the organization. The Zell guy, may he rest in peace, he's not the head of the organization, you know what I'm saying? And the other guy I'm hearing, he be in jail so much, I mean, you can't even call him a street dude. You might as well call him a jail dude, he in jail so much. So all these guys are not the head of the organization. King Von could have possibly been labeled as the head of the organization, but King Von is no longer here. And the reason why I say that he possibly could is because there's videos of him online passing out money to people from O Block. And I had to take this from another YouTuber that said it. He wasn't passing it out to the mamas and babies. He was passing it out to the killers. So if the feds look at that and say, oh, he passed this money out to these hardcore gentlemen right here, then yeah, they could probably place him at the head of the organization. But unfortunately, King Vine is no longer with us. We at a point right now where Dirk got to start moving with a lot of caution because the pettiest things can get him wrapped up if he ain't already wrapped up in this indictment. You know, he could pay for somebody's studio time, the guy go in there, make a diss track about the ops, then come out and post a diss track online. Well, that's furthering, you know, that's bolstering the image online. Like the feds just said, he got to be very careful with that. You know what I'm saying? If he paid for the camera guy to come out and shoot pictures and do a video for a guy and he put the guy in new clothes, give him an old block chain, well, that's furthering the image of the, you understand? That's furthering the image of the empire, you know? It sounds petty, but, you know, comprehension is a real big thing because they can use this in any way that they see fit, you know what I'm saying? So he got to walk like it gets tricky. So the video with, you know, Dirk and Muwap and them all on the private jet coming back from the show, I'm pretty sure Dirk got paid for the show and he probably broke the homies off a little bit of something, probably let them perform a song just so, you know, he could feel good about giving them a few thousand dollars. Well, that's actually, you know, bolstering the empire, furthering the empire because he put money in their pockets. And you like, well, how's that furthering the empire? Because the U.S. government labeled them as a criminal organization. Although the money that they making is not illegal money, everything that the guys did on the block that was illegal, you know, you had that one guy, Los, who got caught with a plethora of everything. Well, that's lumped in. You know, it's all one big thing now. So what he did is a part of what I did and what I do is what you do. So it's all together. So Dirk ain't been charged with nothing or none of this at this point. And my point of the video is to show how intricate they could be because of the wording that they use when they're going forward and charging different people. You got to understand, they took O Block and made that into a criminal organization. So everything that they do for each other is a crime. Everything Dirk do to help them is a crime. It's almost to the point where if he feed them, that's, you know, helping the organization last. That's almost a crime, you know what I'm saying? And in the future we're gonna start seeing stuff like this and i'm willing to bet on that we're gonna start seeing how petty they go with this thing and how they you know just put all this stuff together and make the smallest things into something real major you know you're going back to the block helping your people and all of a sudden that's part of a rico charge you know what i'm saying